Hi, my name is Colin Todd. I'm Managing Director of CS Todd and Associates Limited, a fire safety consulting practice. Hi, my name is Saban Akshbandi. I'm a barrister specialising in fire safety um, law from three Raymond Buildings barristers in London. I think what you have is two extremes with a, a, a large collection of companies in the middle. At the top end, large corporations are coping perfectly well, but then they were before the reform of fire safety legislation and they didn't really need people to tell them what to do. At the other extreme, SMEs have not really grasped the culture change that occurred with the reform uh, and really still haven't understood uh, what their responsibilities and liabilities are. In between those two extremes, there is a curate's egg uh, of, of different levels of understanding, uh, competence and potential liability. Um, I think all I would add to Colin, and I would agree with everything he said, is that certainly with the increased amount of enforcement and prosecutions, um, fire safety is now more prominently um, on the, in the sphere for businesses to appreciate, but it's still very challenging um, for very small businesses to ensure that they um, are up to date and have adequate fire safety measures. The first caveat I would make is that there is no legal requirement for people to hire a third party to carry out their fire risk assessment. The, the whole concept of the legislation is that the duty is imposed on the responsible person who in a workplace is normally the employer. Uh, however, uh, many companies want to delegate the responsibility, or rather they can't delegate the responsibility, but they want to use the services of a third party fire risk assessor. And the, the key in avoiding liability is to make sure the risk assessor is competent. Uh, and the way to do that is to use a fire risk assessment company that is third party certificated by a certification body that is itself accredited by UCAS as competent to certificate the fire risk assessment companies. And I think just following on for that, my two tips are that um, clients or companies or, or individuals all subject to the legislation, it's really important to be able to justify every decision you make. And in fire safety, um, in the fire safety realm, that means ensuring that you have very good uh, and up-to-date records. Uh, my second tip would be to ensure um, you seek appropriate legal and expert advice um, as early as you can. So if it's an investigation by the fire authority, um, have your experts in place um, from the very outset because that will make a significant difference um, to the ultimate outcome.